I just want to introduce, we're, we're not going to be long here, but we're going to um, give you all the important details of what this tour is about. There's six different tours, but this tour is one of the Mountain Soul series. And But before I get into that, um, I just want to do another little intro. I know, Natalie, we, we've met uh, one time over lunch. And I want us, I want you to also meet Laura. So just a really quick intro and everything we're going to do here will probably take about, there's somebody else coming in. We'll probably take maybe 20 minutes, maybe a little 20 minutes. And then if you have some questions, then after the 20 minutes, we can, we can answer them. Right. And if you have to go, I can, I can connect with you one-on-one. -on -one. So just a little bit of background. This tour, Tyrolean Mountain High, is, is really close to my heart because this is where it all started for me. 30 years ago, I landed in this village that I'm in now, in Tyrol, Austria. I went, my soul was pulled to Europe, saying, you got to live in Europe, you got to live in Europe, you got to live in Europe. I didn't question it. And I ended up living here for a year basically right across the street from where I'm living now, right from where I'm sitting now. And in this village, this kind of village that no, not a lot of people know about, is where I said, one day I'm going to live here. One day I'm going to lead tours from here. Nice. And yeah, so so then be careful what you say, because you're going to get it. And you're going to get it in a fun way when you let go. And just allow it to show up in the time it is. So over the last 20 some odd years, then it's been manifesting in different ways. And I would come here for my own healing journey when I was deep in my own darkness and my own um, body image stuff and, and OCD. I would really go to the mountains as the mountains has no mirrors and no judgment and no titles. So I would immerse, come to Austria specifically. I was always called to Austria as it had, it's just a different energy here than any of the other European countries that I went to, which I also love, but it's just different. So I knew this is my home to live in. And there's this rugged sort of rawness here that I love. And so over the years, I just realized my own truth coming here. And I kept getting pulled back and back through the mountains. And then I'd come back with these insights and, and a little bit more self-love. And basically, it just strips away all of the stuff that's layered up, right? Which really, it's a lot of unlearning for us. And it can happen in a long time or it can also happen in a week. And so what I've seen, I started these adventure tours in 2010. And so I put it out there. I, I picked up a piece of paper in 2009 and wrote Austrian Alpine Adventures. And I just wrote it on a ripped piece of paper and I said, this is how it's starting. And I had one person that year in 2010, 13 years ago. And I took them 10 days through the Austrian Alps, exactly how all the places I love. And then she came back the next year and it, then it just went on from there. So this is the original tour of the actual adventure tour that I started, but also where I would come to feel better where this is where I would come so this is a, a lot deeper tour to me than than any of the other ones and so that's a just a little bit of a background it used to be 10 days and it used to be a lot harder <laughs> we would do no gondolas no nothing it was I I said what's not taken on by foot was not taken on <laughs> it was hardcore we wouldn't go on gondolas everything by foot up and down. Wow. So I've softened a little bit, a little bit. And so now it's not 10 days, it's six days. And I also have a part partner with me this time. And this is Laura. And she's also Canadian, Canadian sister, and an absolute outdoor fan, mountain fan. She's got the spirit. She's got the energy to partner in this. She has so many uh, skills as a coach as a healer. So I've said a little bit, but I would, I'd love Laura to jump in and just intro you more. And then I'm going to show you guys a video and then we'll get into it. Jump on Laura. 
Oh, thanks, Carrie. So nice to meet everybody who I haven't met before. Um, yeah, it's interesting how this kind of came into my life as well. I don't know if I've shared this full story with you as well, Carrie, but over the last couple of years, I've been spending a lot of the time, a lot of time out in um, Alberta, BC and in the mountains over there. And they're just so magical as well. And I think it was last year, actually, when I kind of started coming into me where I was having these visions of like, I don't know how I'm going to incorporate adventure stuff in with what I'm currently doing. And I just kind of released it to the universe. And then when Carrie was over here, we were doing a ceremony together. And then afterwards she had mentioned it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is how the two <laughs> worlds merge. This is how it happens. And then, so then we decided to go in on this together. And that's an exciting one that it's in Austria because that's where my background's from. Um, mm -hmm. My dad's side of the family is all Austrian and I have been over there before. And the land there is just absolutely magical. And then mm -hmm. getting to do with Carrie and all of you beautiful people that decide to join us. It's going to be so great. So I'm just very fired up for it. Um, it will actually be my first time doing it in like a group environment like this with Carrie. Um, so it's exciting for me as well. So there's going to be some new things for me. And I'm just very excited to be able to be there and see what unfolds throughout. And um, also bringing in some of the other pieces with I'm an advanced spiral practitioner, so which is an emotional clearing modality and then a Reiki master as well. So we're going to bring in some other cool pieces into the um, adventure as well and whatever comes up emotionally throughout then we'll be there fully to hold you and support you <laughs> yes and thank you laura and at the same time i was actually calling out for someone else for for just a little bit of help with certain things but it had to be the right energy it had to be the right type of person and then laura shows up it's like you call out for something and there you go so cool <laughs> even though there's these um it's nice for a group to have two different uh, people leading and different personalities. Even though we have these different things to offer, I, I will say when you're in the mountains, the mountains itself are very powerful and magical and have their own healing. And so there's not even, we don't even have to do that much. We do, we hold the space, mm -hmm. but it has its own, uh, it's like a, a magic medicine, it has its own, medicine if someone's coming just for fun great if someone's climbing to get to the coming to get to the peaks and for the challenge great if someone's coming because they're in a life transition great it's all perfect and they all it all blends together so i'd love to i'd love to know for three of you that are here you can write it in the chat or you can say what pulled you to actually step up and listen to this one what pulled you to to roll was it the fact that laura tells you about it because because you're you're going to do what where laura is was it the fact that the country austria pulls you what what was the thing that is make you sitting that you're sitting here now i'd love to hear you can write it or let me know i guess i'll go first yeah, yeah. <laughs> jill did you say you're going or Natalie? Um, so I would say mine was, um, well, I didn't know Laura by then. It was through my Juanita. And she was going through Laura's Instagram. And then she was like, oh, my gosh, I wish I was in Laura's shoes right now because she's outdoors. And she's, like, sleeping in the fields and just waking up to the mountain and, like, a lake. It's, like, anyone's dream. I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, cool. And um, later I met Laura a couple of months ago and I thought like, she was such a lovely person. And when she posted this, I was like, I really do need to go outside my box. And like, I've always been the person that I don't want to live in the city. I do want to live in like a countryside where like I'm more connected to nature and to like the roots and, you know, just being um, in a state of mind that we are supposed to be in originally. So that's, that's what. Beautiful. I love it. And Haley wrote that uh, she just loves the mountains overall. Yes, that's a great reason. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I heard about you, uh, Carrie, from uh, Barb King here in, in London. And I did one uh, yoga retreat with her, and I heard her stories with you and the adventure with you. And I was uh, very intrigued by that. And uh, as I love mountains, and I went many, many times uh, to Mount, the Rocky Mountains here 
Southwest. And um, I said, I will explore it in Switzerland if I have. The opportunity to come with you along with Barb. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm here to learn more about it. Beautiful. Well, I know for sure I'm going to see you in July. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So my friends, I'm, we're going to dive into a video. It's a four minute video that's going to focus just on this Tyrolean mountain high. It's going to give you the, the feel of it. So you'll have a better feel of it after four minutes. And then I'm just going to go over the little highlights. What makes this tour different than the other tours? What, what, what are the main things in this tour? And then, then, I, then I'll show you when that comes, what I'm going to do next. And then we'll have questions after, okay? Let's, um, I can share the screen, right? Yes, okay. Beautiful. Are you wow. ready for the ride of your life? Buckle up, my friends. Put on your seatbelt. <laughs> what? Now... Sorry, guys, give me one sec. What do you know? What? Okay, I just have to redo that. Can you guys hear that okay? Yes. You could. Okay. Well, let's do that again. And you all can see that good? Yeah. Here we go. We can hear Carrie. Can't hear? Yeah, what do mountains do for you? Oh, there we go. What do they mean to you? Come to Tyrol. Tyrolean Mountain High. You can visit me here on a beautiful six day adventure in some of these peaks and trails. Or not? Now. Are you really? I am. It's like I don't know if it's exhaustion or that it was. Like, Honey, I love it. Everything is beautiful here. You are amazing. Ah, oh, the whole thing is just unbelievable. I guess I always love a challenge, and this was a challenge. It was a journey. Amazing journey. Amazing people. Best moment for you. Hut to hut. Uh, Dresner hut to Nuremberg. Would you come back to Austria? Um, let me think about it. Yes. Why? <laughs> uh, good mountain air, awesome rocks, great food, and carry grace. Sweet home Alabama. Lord, I'm coming home to you. <laughs> Tell me what your experience has been the last 10 days. You're about to go home. I'm about to go home, and uh, this trip has been the most amazing thing I think I have ever done. 
it's uh, challenged me physically and mentally to do things that uh, I haven't done before. It's uh, made me step out of my comfort zone a little bit, bond with complete strangers, and just have an absolute great time with everybody. Take risks. Don't play it safe. Okay, so there you have our video. Now I'm just going to get into the uh, a few little pointers. So, Tyrolean Mountain High. So this tour, like I mentioned before, is an, the original, the original. I've taken chunks of the original 10 day. And it goes from the 22nd of August to the 28th, six days, six nights. Laura and Carrie, of course, your guides. And so I just want to go over the main highlights. Like I said, the tour that started it all, the, it's, the hikes are challenging. We are, we are doing quite a bit of meters throughout the six days. We end up doing about 5,200 meters of ascent and accumulated up and down is about 10,000 meters. So like if some of you go by feet, I think we mostly go meters in, in Canada, but um, you, we just multiply it by three if you're used to feet. So it's a, uh, we get a lot in, in the six days, but we're also having enough time to have some downtime and do some of those other things like yoga and the little ceremonies we're going to do time to chill over dinner in the huts and, you know, just hang out. So there's definite th that time for that. That's what I meant by mountain hut experience. So when you're actually up in the mountains, which we're going to be for a few of the days, up above 2,000 meters, it's an overall different feeling. You can really let everything go, and then the time kind of spreads out, and you have you feel like you have the time to just hang out, even though the days are long. Tour is is definite for adventure seekers that have that spirited side that are also curious for more you know, and interested in, you know, what else other insights this can give you. There's a woman that went on a tour last year. She ended up writing, um, she had so much to write that was coming through her. About a month after the trip, she wrote a couple books and published them. So it just, something came through her and doesn't mean it has to be a book, but whatever it is, um, things like that can happen or begin to happen when you strip everything away and put yourself 2,000 meters high in the mountains. Where we are is Austria, the heart of Europe. You're pretty much in the middle of everything, bordering so many other countries. So above you, we are um, Germany. Then we've got Italy. We're, so we're 30 minutes from the Italian border. And then we got Switzerland a couple hours on west. And then we got, we're over to the, on the other side, right? and Czechoslovakia. So there's so many bordering countries, they call it the heart, you're right in the center in the heart of Europe. You have support from Laura and I, very much support. And so if anything is throughout the week, you will be taken care of. Um, there's also that, because it's my home, there's also that authentic touch of meeting some of the locals here. So you get to actually really taste not just what the tourists would taste when they come, but off the beaten path. Um, meet even some of the locals and try some of the local cuisine. So you can really experience it, which is all part of it. Not just being in the land, but 
talking to the people that maybe don't speak your language, right? Um, yeah. So those are the main points. And I'm going to actually show you. Yeah, so this was a on one of my tours. This is a man who broke through his fear. He hadn't been to Europe in 30 years because something happened to him when he was there 30 years ago. And so he stopped himself from traveling on his own. And then he decided to take the leap and come on this tour. And he was literally shaking when he signed up because he knew he was jumping into a big, it was like jumping off a cliff for him to do something on his own. So he, right when he arrived in Austria, he was like a big kid. It, everything just opened up for him. He met a woman and he came back. So this is his, what he wrote. He came back to himself. You all gave me the courage, the time and the space to take back myself. Person I loved and lost so many years ago. I am truly grateful. My heart pours out my eyes well. I finally come home. So he was running around here like, like a big kid, like a 57 year old big kid. So that's, if you're, if you want to come back to that, that young spirit, then this is where you want to be. And yeah, so, so if this tour has any, jumps out to you in any way in your heart, then what you can do is actually um, enroll by just doing a deposit, just securing your spot with the deposit that says, yes, I'm in by tomorrow, my, tomorrow night, Monday. And then you would receive a hundred euros savings just to have your, just to do a deposit for now. And then I also have a mountain video training series to prep your body and your mind to, to come on a tour like this. What sort of things do I need to do when I live somewhere that's flat? What can I do to, to train and feel confident when I'm there? Yeah, and if you decide to grab a group of friends and you want to do this with two or three others, you can also save yourself. You can 70, 75 euro per person that you bring. So it can really benefit you to grab a, a few friends. So I, I want to show you guys on the map where actually we are. So on my fat map. And so when you're actually on the tour, I show you every night on a 3D map exactly what we're doing the next day. So you can get a feel of what you have to do and what you, you so your mind can wrap around. I don't tell every little detail, but just so you have an idea. So this is the Intal Valley right here. And so this right here is, is where I'm sitting right now. <laughs> That's my house. And this is our base camp for this tour. And so um, we, I'm just going to show you a few things. On the welcome day, we do a little hike over here, right beside this peak. And then on day two, we go down the valley. And this is another peak in the area. That's just an incredible day hike right here. It's a pyramid. When you look at it from the valley, it just looks like a, it's a stunning jutting peak this is um this is the next day and then we actually go up this is where we go up to the hut and i'll show you here so we would be hiking up to this hut here and this is where we stay for two nights and here let me get a little close can you guys see that yes okay so we're up in this alpine land for a couple of days and we swim in this lake. It looks so small and it is pretty small, but, <laughs> but it's enough to have fun. So we're in this whole area for a couple of days and we climb this peak right here. And then, so two days high up will feel almost like four days <laughs> because you really have, you know, there's, nothing around like there's you're down in the valley there's everything but you feel like you're far away and then the last part of the trip we go to the valley that i take um 
that I've been taking people for years. And that's in Innsbruck. Uh, let's see. Not that you can see much with it right now, but just to give you an idea. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Had to pull out. Anyhow, uh, you get the idea. So there's Innsbruck there. This is where our main this is where you'd land or where you would land in munich and then you can work your way to innsbruck so this is where everyone will be picked up and then the stubai valley is it's not showing me the anyhow that's okay you guys get the general idea so our whole tour is in this region so innsbruck all in here and bordering italy which is very close here so if you ever it did come to austria you can really um tag it with a trip to italy and do something in tuscany or the italian dolomites which is very very close so you can do sort of like a double thing when you're here so based on on anything you guys saw there are there any questions on any part of uh the tour any questions on any of the days, type of hiking, terrain, I'm yours. I have a question. You said uh, you point the blue dot, it's your home. Yes. And you said our base is going to be there yeah. in that area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the town called where it's your house is? Uh, it's called Rietz. R-I-E-T-Z. So the Intel Valley, there's Innsbruck, which is 20 minutes away from me going east. And then um, that first peak, that big pyramid peak is going the other direction. And it's about 20 minutes away as well, going the other direction. And how do we get to the base from the airport? Well, you'll be picked up by me. Oh, okay. Like from, the, from Innsbruck. So if you'd fly into Munich, Yes. You'd have to get a train to Innsbruck. And then I, I pick you guys up in Innsbruck. Okay. Yeah. So in this tour, everything, so all your meals, all your breakfast taken care of. And there's a special welcome meal on the first night, all your transfers. There's just the, on the last day, there's a gondola that you would have to cover, but it's, it's not sure that everyone's going to do the last part of that hike. So it's like an option. Other than that, everything is covered for you. Unless it's a situation where you can't finish something and you need to go, go down by gondola with something and it's like a personal choice, then it's then it would be different. But anything in the plan is covered. All the, the transfer, everything. And where will be staying in now? And what kind of, is it a resort or it's a hut? Okay. Great question. So there's uh, this is moderate, medium level accommodation. So not like the hiking yoga is hotels or four, four star hotels. We're staying in a guest house on the first couple nights. So it's the village guest house, very comfortable. And you get everything you need. Um, everything's double accommodation unless you require a, a single and a mount the mountain huts then we say a mountain hut now the mountain hut is not a hut like a shack hut so a mountain hut and I you saw some pictures in the video just flashes yes. it's like a rustic hotel in the mountains and the hut particularly above my house has room for I believe it like 16 people and there's bunks there. So you sleep, you're in a comfortable bed, but it's very basic accommodations. And there's food and everything you need. There's alcohol there. There's everything. Right. So it's not like we're cooking for ourselves and, and tenting and stuff like that. You know? And then on the other side, in the other hut, is in the Stubai Valley. And it's 
The huts are slightly different, but they're generally the same, like more of that rustic feel. But these days, the huts are really, they're leveling up. They now do vegan options, vegan dinners. A lot of them have Wi-Fi. Like they're they not the way they used to be. So they're really leveled up. So you have all your needs met. I'll, I can promise you that. Yet yeah, it's a place to really just feel and come to simple, simple, have everything you need, but also not too extravagant. Yeah, great. And what is the temperature average during this during the month of August? In in these days, in these times, I couldn't even ask answer that because it's so wild. You could have, I asked people for uh, um, clothing. You got to bring everything. You got to be prepared for everything. In the mountains, you have to be prepared for everything. So you'd have down jacket, hat, mitts, um, and also prepared for heat wave, like hot. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you really have to pack for everything. And sometimes we've used everything. And that's the, the real thick stuff is that if you're at a hut and you go sit outside at night, it's a little cooler. So to be comfortable and also with the wind in the mountains, sometimes it's not cold out, but when you get the wind that you get cold. So you need like wind shell, you need all those basic layers, but you can also pack that pretty lightly. And yeah, so you can get a packing list and everything to bring. It's a little different than the hiking yoga because in the hiking yoga, we only need to bring a day pack during the day because we leave the stuff at the hotel. Whereas on this tour, some on a couple occasions we can do day pack, but sometimes we got to carry it all with us, which is part of the experience as well. So how big would be the backpack? Should you Generally between 32 to 38 liters. Wow. Big one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because you're carrying water, you're carrying snacks, you're carrying, it gets filled up pretty fast. And then that one, you can also cinch it down to make it smaller. Mm. You know, it can pack right out or you can also make it smaller for a day pack. And a lot of people come, some people come with a suitcase and then you can store that at my place, you store a suitcase at my place and you just take your backpack on everything else. So if you're doing excursions outside this, this trip afterwards and you need uh, to store other things like a, a, like a, your suitcase, you've brought other things that you don't need on this six days, you can store it somewhere. Because hmm. some people come with a with a suitcase, but they have a backpack in it for the hiking part and other people come with a backpack as their pack oh yeah right? for six days yeah can be manageable oh, yeah. and some people bring a big backpack and then a small day pack and just they... to clarify one thing why we should put them in your house we cannot leave them in our hut or on our room well, not, not the uh, suitcases i'm talking if, if people brought suitcases with yes. them then we would leave them, we wouldn't take them up to the hut, the suitcases, just just the backpacks. Okay. Like I meant those extra things. Like if you came, if you're staying, let's say you're staying two weeks and you're doing a week with me and then afterwards you're going to Tuscany or you're going to Lake Como yeah. and you, you're bringing different things that you don't need on this one. And so huh. you can store them, you can store them. Because a lot of people go do a tag on trip. They go somewhere else after. Yeah, to make the trip worse, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, um, yeah. Or to put like f fancy clothes or, or something like that. But we're, we might need them at some point too, those fancy clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I love it. Yes, very. It's different than hiking yoga. Different. Challenging in a different way. There's there's not not like there's no um 
spa or sauna, but there's other modalities that we're not having in the hiking yoga. So there, we're doing like different ceremonies. We're doing, um, we've got like different skills, like she's doing Reiki healing. We've got um, meditations, yoga, but it's all in an outdoor setting. This is after we come back from. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's still all those great things, but just not, we don't have the facility of we've got the big huge facility of the mountains <laughs> and the crystal blue lakes which we're going to go skinny dipping in wow <laughs> Woo! <titillating. laughs> you're great carrie oh it excites me this stuff it excites me yeah me too beautiful so if anyone has any more, doesn't have any more questions, then we can, yeah. we can wrap it up unless Jill. Yeah. So when I buy the ticket for coming over, do we all like book at the same time or just whatever? You mean everyone on the tour book at the same time? Yeah. Um, If you know the people and you plan that, you could do that. But some people... You come individually, you can book it whenever you want. Or you can, I always, I always advise to come a couple days before to ground. Okay. And not couple just days the day before. before. Right. Pardon me? So a couple of days before the 22nd. Yeah. Just because like last year they had, like there, there's people missing their bags. Not saying that that happens, but you know, just to leave a little buffer. Yeah. Um, last year with the airlines. Hmm? And there's a bit of a time difference too. So yeah. it's good to get a little bit adjusted to the time difference as well. Yeah, so the 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 time difference definitely, and to kind of ground, because I find when people just come and then they rush into the tour, they they can do it, but it's not, they haven't really grounded yet, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it's... I definitely recommend if people can get the time off and then you can even do a little bit of your own hike first when you arrive. Right. And if you need help with where to stay and what to do before, I can help you with that. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Beautiful. Well, anything else? What you want to add Laura before we wrap up? I don't think so. I'm excited. This is going to be great. Me too. Well, thank you, ladies, for showing up. Thank you, everybody. And just message Laura or I if you have any of the other questions. Mm -hmm. And um, what I what I can do here, like if you're interested in, in depositing, then I can just send you a link or I can actually put it in the um what I'll do is uh I'll give you the um the actual link you can copy and paste it and of the actual itinerary and it's right here and I'll just post it here so if you want to you can click on that and it has a um it has a button that you can deposit you can take a look through it if you want to read more details what's included what's not all the like details of each day how many meters am i climbing and stuff and that's that's in there i think most people don't really look at so deeply in the meters you know, like, I mean, it's definitely something you want to look at, too, because you do want to be prepared for uh, this. And we can totally, you can totally get prepared for this, even if you're in flat land. So that's nothing to worry about. It's something to get excited about. Mm -hmm. Good challenge. Right? Yep. Yes. Thanks, ladies. Thanks, Natalie. Thanks, Haley and Jill. And thanks to you, Carrie. Yes, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. For the it yes. helps. Yes. Okay. Have a great night.
I saved to you. For, for, with Thank questions you. Yeah. Thanks. Everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bye, everybody. Bye.